Good morning. We have an interesting situation in the readings today. In the first reading, we have this story of Susanna, who is accused of adultery because she won't have um, affairs with these two elders. And here's a woman who is accused, falsely accused, of doing wrong. And notice, vis a vis my homily yesterday, that Susanna, although she's in a bad way, right, still trusts in God. She has no idea how God is going to help her. But through her tears, right, she's really feeling what she's feeling. Through her tears, she looked up to heaven, <clears throat> for she trusted in the Lord wholeheartedly. This is the kind of trust that Jesus was looking for yesterday in the gospel about Lazarus. So we have a woman falsely accused. And we see how God saves her. Right? But in the gospel, we have a woman who really did do the crime for which she is accused. Of which she is accused. What does God do with her? Well, I couldn't do better than to read this little section from St. Augustine. I love the way he puts it. So here in the case of the adulteress, Jesus questioned the questioners and in this way judged the judges. I do not forbid, he says, the stoning of someone who the law lays down must be stoned. What I want to know is by whom? So he says, that's a real sin and this is what the law requires. Fine. But who is going to carry out the sentence? And he says, let the innocent carry out the sentence. Well, of course, at that, the crowd melts away one by one, beginning with the ones who brought her to Jesus in the first place. And so we might ask ourselves, okay, so what should we do about sinners? What should we do? And we'd be falling into the same trap as the Pharisees, you know. The question is, what do we do with ourselves? Which of us is innocent? Which of us has the right to point out everybody's wrongs, what they do wrong or wrong attitudes or whatever, and uh, hold them up and accuse them? Maybe everyone does. I don't know. Maybe uh, because we do have to point out what is wrong. You know, abortion's wrong. You can't, you got to stop abortions. Adultery is wrong. Lying is wrong. Cheating is wrong. Whatever. These things are wrong. But the Pharisees weren't pointing out the sin. They were pointing out the sinner. And I think that's where the difference is. The Pharisees weren't saying, getting together, saying, how can we stop adultery in Jerusalem or something? No. They brought this poor woman to Jesus in public, you know, shamed her in public and said, the law says we get to stone her. That's pointing out the sinner, not the sin. And so every time we open our mouths, we should ask ourselves, Am I pointing out a sin? Am I trying to thwart a sin happening here or evil being done? Or am I pointing out the sinner? And if you're pointing out the sin and you're the one who's supposed to do that, okay. But if you're pointing out the sinner, remember Jesus looks at you too and he looks at me and he says, that's fine. Go ahead and throw that stone if you are innocent of any sin. God bless you.